They should blow for every brocha, every possibility, three times. Let's see what it says in the Purush. Just like Yederach, just like when we blow, we talk about Yishan Yishan, just like we do each time. The first time we do 30, so we end up doing 30 then, after Malfi is 30. After Zechrein is 30. After Shreif was 30. And we'd end up blowing 120, and we might not blow the last 30. But if we had to add, add blow another 30, we'd end up with 150. But since we've blown and fulfilled our obligation, it's Kiyashim Yushiv in the blowing that we did prior to the Shimon Esrei to the Sarant Amidam. We don't, we're not, we don't uh, trouble the congregation to go on all of them in the order of the brocha, so it's enough, it's enough to do one on each brocha, so it would seem that hearing Nine blasts over three brochas is enough. Because when we learned before, it's enough nine blasts. We would seem that somehow we fulfill the nine blasts over the three brochas. Now, why is it enough to blow Tashrat? Everywhere? There are different combinations of how they blew it, how they blew the shoifu. Some used to blow. The wailing and the broken sound, the broken, the short and the wailing sound by Malchus, and the broken sound, the wet, the short sound by commemorations, and the wailing sound by Shreifers. I go as a Maimonides writes in the name of Tosus, since in the Gemara it says that you, bl- you blow three orders, and one is with the Vitor and two of them with the Rabbonon, and since they have to fulfill all of our, our doubts. We don't do it in a repetition, only those that we need to know in our They didn't, they, they, but they didn't uh, force them to do all the possible combinations which are doubtful, which is only rabbinical. If that's the case, the number of blowing and going for Rambam is 40 notes, 30 during the Sahaja Amida. Another 10, because by each of the brothers, he only blew once, and not more. So you have four, another four, which is here, shvaram, through it here, and then through it here, shvaram, through here, and here, through it here. When you're in town, at the end of every brother, you, you blow the four. I was minus writes the name of the Oroch that, as we do, in most, as we find in most Mahzorim, you t- do all three possibilities at the end of each brocha. Thus, we blow 30 and 4 and 30 as well on the on the order of the brochas. And thus, we have 16 furlers between prime before Mosif and by the repetition. If you look in the turn of Eishayishim, you'll see all the possible combinations. The Shulchan Aruch in, in 592 says that Amalfi is you write. You blow Tashrat, meaning a long one, short blasts, winning sound, and a long blast one time. As a Chinese, you write, you blow a long blast and a broken blast and a long blast. Shreifers, you blow a long blast, a winning blast, and a long blast. Like Ram on the Riff. And he says that today the meaning, though, is to blow by each one of them three times. Uh, but it seems differently than what we do. He writes three times the the, the short blast with the wailing sound, and by Zechariah's short blast with the broken sound, and by Schaefer's short blast on the wailing sound. Sound, and this is something new. You blow thirty because of the blessings, like the Oroch. But according to the Oroch. You would do 
every one you would split it up into having at least one set that might be halachically correct by each one. He, there's another thought that the Ramah writes that you blow one time the four, four sounds, the long one, the short one, the waiting sound, and the long one, by each one. So by Malchus, so by Zephonius, and so by Shoifus. In conclusion, according to the Ramam of the Riv, that the Machaba brings, you blow on the order of the Brochus one time uh, the four blasts for Malchus, one time the three blasts with the, with the middle one being short sounds for Zephonius, and the last one is the wailing sound by Shoifus. According to Ramam, the time you blow, One time, the force blasts for each one. The Ramah says it has the minig in Ashkenaz. Muhammad recites another minig to blow three times the four sounds from Alpheus, three times the the, the, bro, the medium sound sound in the middle between the two long blasts for Zephyrinus, and the third time the wedding sound between them for Shoikos. The Torah writes in the name of the Oroch. And there are those who are stringent to blow 30 blasts before Shonatsri and 30 blasts during the silent Amida, and 30 blasts when we repeat the Shvatatfila. And that's the 100 times, so you say 30, 30, and 30 is only 90, but we do in the Kaddish another 10. And that's because the mother of Cicero uh, bewailed Cicero's death. After the war, and from there we learn that a trua is a wailing sound. And another ten to complete a hundred, because every time when you blow it, there are ten, bla there are ten blasts, four, three, and three is ten. Altogether, we end up with one hundred blasts. In all the diaspora, the meaning is like the Aruch to blow one hundred blasts. 30 before the silent Amido, and the silent one, another 30, and the repetition, another 30, and after the prayer, another 10, together 100. In Ashkenaz, they blow, but they don't blow during the silent Amido. After the prayer, they, after they finish the repetition, and they said Kaddish, they blow another 30 additional blasts, and then another 10 to have the 100 curtis. The Mishnah Brewer cites in, in 592, the name of the Mogadavrom, and they're those who have a custom to blow during the silent uh, Amida. You shouldn't do so to begin with, because people have to get confused when they hear them blowing and they're not up to the place they should be or they're beyond it. But you do it after the prayer. The many of the Middle Eastern Jewry and Fasinim who go accord with the opinion of the Ari do, do so in the silent Amido that by and after each of the sections, after the Malchias, the blessing of kingdom, they do as the to do one of each type, and so by Zechariah, so by Shafas, as the many of the Orach. In by the Ashkenazim, they don't blow during the silent Amido. Mr. Bura adds that all of these blowings, the one who is blowing and the ones who are listening, have to be standing at the time of the blowing, and therefore it's called Kiyah Dem Umit. However, if they were sitting at the time, they fulfilled their obligation. The name of the Shlots brought down the Mishnah Bura that one should blow the three different possibilities for Malchus, and so the same for after the Zephyrinus, and so as him after Shafus. And after Adam's Mirrors, you do it again, 30, in order to complete the 100 notes. And the Prima Gonim writes that the, where the Minig is, like there are more, don't change it. The Minig to say each time after the Tkia, Hayyim Aras Oilam, today the world was, cre it was conceived. And the words of our lips, the remorse brought down, even on Shabbos, that we don't blow 
you say today the world was conceived. But you don't say the noise of my lips. According to the meaning of the people of Middle Eastern origin, origin they never mentioned the Arash of Soseno. Just today the world was conceived after Malchus, after the Prinos, and after Shephus. All of this that we spoke about is in the, is in the public. But the individual, whether you heard it according to the order of the prophets, whether you heard didn't hear it according to the order of the both whether he stood or sat, he fulfilled his, his obligation. There's no custom. In that would seem from the Rambam that since there's no custom, the individual can blow according to the brochas or not according to the brochas while he's standing or while he's sitting. But the Torah writes that the meaning is only mitzibur. An individual, even if he has a shaver, he doesn't do it according to the brochas to blow. And that's how the Mahabra as well says you can't do that. You can't choose to do that. How should an individual act if he can't dab him Khashashan with a tzibur? There are no rights. He you blow to him before Musaf. He doesn't have to blow you don't have to blow again. Meaning if he didn't hear the ones before Musaf, you can blow for him before he downs Musaf. So that to confuse the Sultan that uh, while he's dominating, he won't uh, be bothered with the sh- kids. He doesn't have who should ble- blow for him before his prayers. He should hear it after he dominates. Therefore, the Mahabas of the opinion, like the Rambam, there's no minic or custom by an individual to do it according to the blessings of kingdom, commemoration, and blowing. But the enactment, the blow, and the word of the blessings is only to the public and not for the individual. Therefore, an individual cannot stop with the brochus to hear the tkiyas, even when he has somebody else who will blow for him. But to begin with, you blow for him before he downloads Musaf. If he doesn't want to blow then, he can hear it after his prayers. Now, the, according to the halacha was, which you should go on each brocha, you should do it three times, like they did for prior to the Amida. And you can't say that it means you should do it uh, three times tashrat, three times tashat, and three times tarat, and for each of them 30, because that isn't understood, because you only have to have three truas. The Acham enacted how to to do them, one for Malchus, one for Zerchayim, one for Shechus. Now, out of out of doubt, they said these are them that have to be grown to fulfill all the possibilities. Therefore, when he does Tashrat or Tashat or Tarat, either one he fulfills his obligations. And why should he go three times all the signs by every bracha? And you can't explain say that this is the meaning of the Rambam. There's another position. The Nefer Mishnah says that we're going to explain that every uh, one, uh, one of every type. The intent is that Malchus he blows three times Hashrat and Zochrinah three times Hashrat and three times uh, by Shreifers. You can't explain that because it says at the end of the Alocha that they didn't obligate the Tzibur. It's enough with one time on each brocha. So that he should hear the keys on the order of the brochas. And therefore, he says bovo in that ta- at palm, meaning one type, one style, one set. However, it will explain that you should really do all three different types one time by for, for kingdom, one time for commemoration, one time for blowing, like the Aruch. We have to explain it that you blow on each brocha every type possibility, meaning so that you'll end up with at least nine voices that are correct. It doesn't mean three times each by each blessing. So by each broker you should do one time one of the possibilities and therefore you'll end up with nine sounds at the end of the Shemun Esri. The Belecha Mishnah concludes that that's very difficult to put it into the words of the Rambam and therefore 
the main idea is the first explanation that you only do even though the end of the language would be difficult. That's according to the Lecha Mishnah. Halachically, it's enough to blow Tashrat by Malchias, by Zephroinus, and by Shafras. As it says in the Machama, that's what they do as opposed to doing different sounds for each one.